Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure uh, data quality services. Uh, data quality services helps you to improve the quality of your data. Um, it's a feature of uh, SQL Server 2012 and 2014. There are two components to it. Uh, one is uh, DQS server and other is client. Both components are independent of each other. You can install the server on one machine and install the client on other machine as long as there is a connectivity between client and the server, we're good to go. Uh, this is feature of uh, uh, SQL Server uh, installation, so we're gonna use the same media uh, to install uh, DQS. Uh, let's get to the installation part. You right-click on Setup and uh, run as Administrator. Click on Installation. Since uh, SQL Server uh, on my machine is already installed and I'm using the existing instance, so I'll be using the first tab as adding features to an existing installation. Click next, next. It's going through some set of files. There are a couple warnings here. Uh, for this demo, I really don't care about the warnings as long as there is no errors. One thing I do want to mention that if you're doing uh, installation on production and you see the warnings, uh, make sure you go through the warnings and eliminate those warnings before you uh, proceed for installation. So as I said that I'm going to use an existing SQL Server instance. So I'll choose that, click next. You can see that um, the features that's already been installed are grayed out. So we're going to install data quality services. Uh, that's the server. And then later on in another video, I'll be installing data quality client. Um, and uh, I'll be showing you how to uh, use client and connect with the DQS server. So right now, uh, just click on uh, data quality services. Click next. This shows you the summary that's uh, the feature that's already installed and uh, what's going to be installed now. I'll click on install. It'll take about five to 10 minutes to install. Uh, I'll pause the video. Once the installation is complete, I'll come back to it. If, there, if I run in, into any issue, um, I'll share that issue with you and the resolution. Uh, um, uh, DQS uh, server. Once the configuration is done, it should create three databases uh, on the instance SQL Server instance that we have given um, during the installation. So let's go ahead and configure uh, uh, DQS server. Close this. Go to programs and find uh, data quality uh, SQL Server data quality. Uh, server installer. You need to click on that. It'll go through uh, some installation on command prompt. First thing it's asking me to put a password for the data master key. Make sure this password is strong. It's also going to ask me to confirm the password. So I'll go ahead and confirm that. Now, since it's going through the configuration part, it's going to create uh, the three databases on SQL Server instance, as I mentioned before. So it's going to take uh, about 10 more minutes. Uh, I'll pause the video. Uh, once the installation is complete, I'll come back to it and see if those three databases has been created on the instance of SQL Server that we provided. Let's open up uh, Management Studio. connect to the SQL Server instance that we have given during the installation of DQS Server. Expand the databases and there it is. DQS main projects staging data. 
these three databases uh, it has created du during the configuration of a DQS server. Install a DQS client and how to connect to DQS server using the client. I hope it, this video helps.